Hey you guys, it's out here. I'm back with another video. Yesterday I say I'm back with another video. As you guys could tell by today's title, I'm gonna be telling y'all my braces story. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be telling y'all about that. I don't know, I have a lot of ideas, but I'm just like, um, yeah. Let, let's talk about that. Cause I feel like, I don't know, somebody might be able to relate. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but my teeth have all, not always been this straight i mean and this is not even super straight but whatever 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 before we get to this video i need y'all smash that like button go ahead smash that subscribe button turn the post notification bell on that way you don't miss a video don't miss a video don't miss a video don't miss a video, miss a video, miss a video. okay 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 let's get right to the video we'll talk about this but we just gonna hop right in so right now y'all see you know i don't have any braces whatever i don't have braces but when I, if you go back to my very first video, when I started, I had braces. I got my braces off, I want to say, I believe I got my braces off 2017. I believe I got my braces off the end of 2017. Uh, I'm going to try to have some pictures throughout this video to show y'all like, you know, when I first got them and then, yeah, now, basically. So, let me show y'all this, this one my teeth look like. They have not always been like this, but y'all, it, it was a journey. It was a freaking journey. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all when it all started. So, my freshman year of... No, no, no. Before that. Before that, before that. Before I even went to college, I mean high school, I had already noticed that my teeth were starting to get fucked up, like... I don't know it's no other way to say it like my teeth were just like they were okay like they were they were manageable you know like you don't have to have a perfect smile like you can live your life with an okay smile I was cool with that but then out of nowhere I started getting a tooth in my gums anybody knows what it's like it is the most uncomfortable thing in the freaking world one of the most uncomfortable comfortable thing in the world y'all so i had a tooth in my gums the dentist called it a canine i don't know i didn't go to school for dentistry i i don't know don't shoot the messenger i'm just saying so yeah i started to get a tooth like in my gums and it was freaking hurting me like it was hurting me like hell but i just had to deal with it well freshman year of high school it got worse like it really did it got freaking worse and if y'all know if y'all been following me or whatever y'all know my freshman year of high school i lived with my mom and i'ma just tell y'all how the whole how all this shit happens or whatever how how all this happened like it turned it out it was like it was like a blessing and a curse like it was like a fucked up situation kind of turned into a better situation you know so it's a happy ending but it took a while to get to that freaking happy ending so all that happened uh so i remember going to the dentist in high school and like the dentist kept telling me like you're gonna need braces he was like you're going to need braces i knew what he was saying i was understanding what he was saying but my mom was like girl you don't need no braces girl you don't need no braces girl you don't need no braces like you know how black parents are like you know how they are like they don't take shit serious until you have a worse problem but me i just kept saying it over and over i was like you know the dentist said that i need braces the dentist said that i need braces like i need braces because my tooth not only is it hurting me look at it like you could see it like it it, it was like this like it, it was really really it was really really uncomfortable y'all i'm not even lying but not just that like on the flip side i'm gonna be real i did just want braces so don't sit up there, don't be judging me because y'all know damn well in high school, in middle school, y'all wanted braces too. Cause back then that shit was cool. It was cool to have braces. 
so don't do me i did low-key want them hoes but just knowing the type of parents that my mom was i already knew i wasn't getting braces like i was just like fuck it i'm, I'm not getting braces so all of a sudden yeah so all of a sudden i kept saying you know i need braces i need braces Nah, 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 whatever the case may be so i ended up getting braces i think through my insurance at the time uh yeah through my insurance like my mom she only had to pay like a certain amount of money and it wasn't even a lot of money like it wasn't no it wasn't so yeah so she paid that or whatever got my braces uh i was really happy about my, my braces i remember i went to school the same day after i got them i was like I was so freaking happy that was that was probably one of my one of my best days like really was like so I had got my braces or whatever uh, no 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 I didn't even tell y'all before I got my braces I had to get so many teeth taken out uh, I had to get so many teeth taken out because you had to get uh, you had to get the tube you had to get the tube taken from underneath that tube you had to get that one removed so it could come down and you probably can see when I smile, like, it came down, like, probably the best that it could have. But, you know, it's not perfect. But I, I'm happy. Like, I, I'm happy with my smile. So, to this day, I ain't got shit to say about my smile. But I'm just telling y'all the damn story, okay? I'm just telling y'all the story. So, yeah. So, I got my braces. Braces my freshman year. Uh, I want to say maybe... Yeah, the beginning of my sophomore year, this is kind of when shit hit the fan because freshman year I was going to all my appointments, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. I was, I was on it. Like my my teeth, they were doing, they were doing good. And my mom was actually doing the right thing. Like it was actually working, y'all. So basically, some basically, you know, my sophomore year. I'll talk about it another day. But I, I was just. I was really, really depressed because I was no longer at the school with my friends. I uh, kicked out of the fucking biomedical academy. I ended up being zoned to the the school that's in my area. I had to go to that school. I went to that school. I did not like the school. I only knew like one or two people at the school, like the guy that I was dating and one of my friends. Um, yeah well she, yeah she it, somebody i knew of basically that's what i'm gonna say and yeah so um yeah like it was just it was a lot like sophomore year i was really 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 uh depressed i was i will talk about that story one day but i was really really depressed like every day i was like praying to god that i was i would be able to move back like you know because i was in another state i was praying to god that i'll be able to move back to this state and God came through for you, girl, like he always do. And I, hey, made a way. So I ended up coming back down here. Uh, the way that I came back down here, I mean, my mom was basically, she stopped paying my, uh, my braces. Like she just did not want to, I guess, do it anymore. Like I don't even... I don't even think she tried to even see if my insurance would transfer over or whatever. Um, mind you, I was still considered a minor because I wasn't 18. I wasn't even 17 yet. But she was just like, I really felt like it was like, fuck me. It really was kind of like, fuck you and your teeth, like on some real shit. Um, and at the time, I was staying with my grandma and she was just like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Or whatever. And I'm like, okay, you don't have nothing to do with it. But once again, I'm in your care. But whatever, y'all. So, uh, basically, um, basically, I ended up going to, going to the dentist. Um, yeah, I ended up going to the dentist. Um, she paid for some of the times for me to go to the dentist, which is cool. And then after that, 
um i don't know after that i stopped going and i just i only had like a couple more appointments but she was just like she wasn't doing it anymore and i'm just like you was never gonna do it like why you gonna start doing it like it was just that whole thing and it was just another thing like you know how black people are like she just was throwing everything in my face like like it's it's my fault like it's my fault like maybe if i had a job at the time i could have paid to get my braces done but i couldn't Oh uh, y'all, it was just a whole bunch of bullshit. It really was just a headache. So I'ma be honest, a lot of the times when I had my when I had my braces on, they were just on. Like sometimes my wire wasn't even connected. Like it was just it was just a horrible, horrible, horrible situation. Um yeah, it was a horrible situation. Um but out of the whole situation I'm happy with my smile. I really am. I'm happy with my smile. And yeah. I am. Uh, so yeah. I ended up paying to get them taken off. Mm. And I was just so hyped. Like I was just so hyped. Like it's just like. You know. This is what I've been waiting on. You know. I, and I felt. I, I felt good about. You know. When I had my braces. Like I felt cute with my braces. Um, I really did like them or whatever. Um but yeah it was just a shitty situation but then it turned out to be it turned out to be cool like it really did um yeah the only thing i would say to somebody that has braces wear you <coughs> excuse me wear, wear your retainer because i did notice my teeth did shift a little bit but i will say a lot of the times I didn't have, um, like I told you, my wire wasn't even connected to my braces. They were just sitting on my teeth, so they weren't even doing anything most of the time. So, it, so when I didn't wear my retainer, like, my teeth didn't move that much. Like, it was just like, okay, you know, but that's not going to be everybody's situation. So, I really I highly suggest you wear your retainer. So, basically, out of a fucked up situation like it ended up working out in my favor like so it ended up working out in my favor um yeah like i'm i'm really happy about my smile because i just saw the direction it was going versus now and like i said it was very uncomfortable um but i did go through a lot of pain getting those teeth taken out that that was that was some pain i think i had got i think i got four teeth taken out I think I had got four teeth taken out. Um, yeah, but I am. I'm really happy with my smile. Uh, some people might not understand, but y'all, like this day and age we live in, like people just talk about any and everything. So it's just like if you don't have the perfect smile, perfect smile, like people not even gonna pay you no mind, like or like a decent smile. But it's like everybody can't be born with a perfect smile or X Y Z. It's just I I I did really really want you know braces for my own reasons. But I'm glad that I was putting that pressure on my mom to get me the braces to begin with. Because if I didn't, no telling how how my mouth would have been now. Like that shit was really going to fuck up my speech. Like my tooth that it it was a bad situation you know but i don't know i just i don't know i just felt like it was really really sad that i even had to put that amount of pressure on her like i just felt like in the moment like you have one child and like you see people this day and age they putting now they putting fucking braces on kids young now because they're trying to help their child out they don't want their child to one they don't want their child to get bullied they don't want their child to have uh, health problems. I'm like, y'all, I just don't. I just don't. This story probably went all the way freaking left. But I just want to tell y'all my... Okay, so let's see. Let's see how many years that was, though. So from freshman year. So I have freshman year, sophomore, junior, senior. Okay. And then I have freshman year. So I had my braces on for six years. And I was only supposed to have them on for like three, three years, I believe. So, 
y'all that that was my journey that that was my journey it was not a fun journey it was a um it was a very emotional journey because you know when you go and you get your uh when you go and get your uh teeth changed like you get the colors changed or whatever i remember i had red on my teeth for for probably like two years if you know what i mean so i don't know it's just really depressing and i don't know i just feel like when you are in high school or whatever like people really don't listen to you but you be knowing what you're talking about and i'm just like if i would have never spoke up in that moment like where would I be now? Like, because as I'm thinking, like my grandma, she really did not want to help. And I understand you didn't get them put on my teeth, but now I am in your care. That's like, that's like, for example, that's like if I was living with my mom and I have, and I had like, you know, um, something that needed, like say for example, I needed to go to the eye doctor or I needed to get some type of, um, just something that I needed on a regular. Say if I say if I had asthma and I needed to keep up my medication, whatever the case may be. I'm like, when you move with this other parent figure or whatever, you expect them to keep that shit up. But she was just like, I'm not doing it. And I'm just like, y'all are a mess. Like, and when I told her that um that I paid to get my braces off, she didn't even say anything. It was no congratulations. Oh, that's good. It was nothing. It was nothing. Like, it was like I was talking to a brick wall. And that's what I'm just saying. And that's why I'm telling y'all, like, everybody is not for you. Like, the smallest thing, like, like, girl, like, that shit crazy, y'all. But a bad situation turned into... Like, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I'm grateful. Like, even though it was all that bullshit, I'm glad that my mom put them on my teeth in the first place. I'm glad my grandmother helped out, well, paid some of the payments. And I'm glad that I was able to pay to get them off. You feel me? But going forward, if I have children or I'm taking care of a child, whatever the case may be, if they have braces, I'm going to continue the treatments. I'm going to continue the treatments. Because that is now my responsibility. Because I have a minor in my care. Whatever, y'all. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.